Hello, hello, hello. Auntie Welcome. Lock, <laughs> Auntie Nee said, no, not today. No. Well, I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, Miss, Miss Burke, you know you was wrong for dropping it low and trying to make that lady <laughs> drop it with you. <laughs> Auntie Knees gave out as soon as she started to go down. It was over. <laughs> oh, Auntie Knees. Okay. <laughs> yeah, her knees. Oh, who was that? Hold on. It's some comedian that said, you know, she ain't got Megan knees, she got Melissa knees. And she had <laughs> that lady definitely had Melissa knees. Cause that wasn't yeah. it. <laughs> she was, you know what? She was everything. She was like, listen, everything you do, I'm gonna do it too. Like <laughs> and she was a soldier though. She got right back up. Like, hey. She was. She she was. Was. Like nothing ever happened. So this <laughs> collaboration right here between you two, how did this come about? Because I know that you are an Atlanta native, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. So for you to be a part of and embracing Go Go into your music, what was that like? And how did you guys come together? Shorty, you want to go ahead, Jazz? Do your thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I'm just I'm having so much fun, so much fun. <laughs> you know, Shorty's a Go Go legend, and for him to entrust me with the culture. You know, let me let me have a piece of it and, and put my stamp on it. It's just it's just beyond, you know, I, I never imagined that I would be doing this type of music. I, I didn't know what type of music I was going to be able to do. Um, like Shorty always likes to say, I'm an adventurer and I just jump on and I just go hard. I go all the way with it. And so when he presented me with the opportunity, I just was like, Absolutely, yes, because <laughs> I already know, like, with his cosign, is is you know, I, I'm good, I'm good. So, I know, I knew I was in good hands. So, I like, I just jumped in there and just gave him my all and have fun with it, you know, and let the rhythm tell me what to do. And not, I didn't go into it with any pre preconceived notions, or you know, I just was like, listen, use me, let him use ya, and that's what I did. <laughs> Hey, I, I would say this, though, if she didn't say a, a Atlanta native, you know, a lot of people, I mean, we see Minnesota, we see what we call the Ben and Road Soda. We see the men in Ben and Road, Minnesota. We see all of that right there. We see A Street, uh, just the go-go culture itself. So a lot of people wouldn't even notice that you was a native of an ATL. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, it was... I say you in good hands. I, I would say that. I would say that. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I, I felt like um, I love DC, and you know, the opportunity came about with I was starring in a movie called Angrily Ever After for BET, which is one of BET's like top three movies, like in history. Like the the movie broke records, and um, Shorty is I was starring in the movie. Shorty's executive producing the soundtrack, and we were shooting the movie in DC as well. The producers of the movie um, were from DC and they said, you know, we want to showcase DC, like the beauty of DC. So it was, um, but I had been coming to DC for years cause I have family there too. My papa lives okay. there. So I, I know DC, I met um, Donnie Simpson and Sherry back in the day when, when the, um, what was the, vi not video soul. What was the video show they did on BET? But That's the uh, video song. Yeah. That's it. I don't say that. Sound like it was it. <laughs> yep, yep. I remember I was a little girl and I uh, came to DC and the studio was there, and I went in and I met Donnie Simpson and Sherry and I remember um what was the the teen show BET had I I used to watch it all the teen time. Summit. Teen Summit. Teen Summit. I came to DC for Teen Summit. Got a chance to meet Usher. I was like maybe I don't know eight years old or something like so i been dc has been i've been yeah, I, I, was, been, I was two you were two okay mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah 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 mm -hmm. so i've been all up and through dc my whole life so being able to now do music that is very central to the culture of dc is just truly an honor yeah so so coleon that's that's another uh soundtrack that i'm not on but we'll talk about that later <laughs> we'll talk about that later go ahead, go ahead 
I ain't doing that for two, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna go there, Bishop. But um, so Shorty, um, some one of our listeners does have a question for you, and I wanted to just ask this question just because we don't have a lot of time to get into everybody's questions. But um, this question is: Why are you no longer with Re? And what? And do you still own part of the band? Uh, lessons and blessings. I'm, I'm, I'm always part of that. You know what I'm saying? Family forever. Um, you know, you, 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 you put on one of the songs and you, you're going to feel Shorty Corleone if I'm there or not. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's all love and, and stay tuned. You know, you, you, be, <laughs> you, you may walk in the club and surprise, you know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. So you guys are doing hosting this event tomorrow night. And what is that what is that gonna be like for you, Jasmine, to I know you said that you you frequent DC mm-hmm. a lot, um, but to be in a go go, I'm not sure how many you have attended, but to be in a go go and hosting a go go event, um, and being coming from uh, I guess R and B and coming from the actors world. And coming into the culture of Gogo, what what does that mean to you, to be a part of the actual Gogo culture and being involved in it and intertwined completely? What it means for me is that, first of all, I'm with the right people. I'm with the right people, and so to even have the opportunity and to come into the space and be received with open arms, it means. It means everything. You have no idea. Because when you get into chasing your dreams and going after what you want in life, you pray to be surrounded by good people. You pray mm-hmm. to, to, like, God, send me the right people that are going to, you know, take me under their wings and do right by me and put me in the right places and around the right people. And that's what I've been blessed with. So I'm so excited to be there. I, listen, you guys have no idea. I got my boots ready, okay? I got some boots that is going to knock everybody out, okay? So I'm ready, and I'm going to be on my feet all night. I'm going to bring my little towel hanging out my back so it's because I'm going to be dancing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be in the vibe. So I, I'm so excited to be there. So ain't nobody going to be more turned than me. That's all I got to say. It's rock, rock Steady and JYB. You better bring some flex. I know, That's right? I was, I was thinking yeah. about that. You had I was like, what if my feet start hurting? I was like, what if my feet start hurting? So I am going to have a backup. <laughs> <laughs> we highly recommend it, especially on the dancing that JY make you do. Oh, listen. Yeah, they, they got dance steps for days. So okay. yeah, you're going to need those flats. Okay, I got oh. I got my sparkly backups ready because the boots is <laughs> They look like a disco ball or something. So I'm gonna have to give me some. I got some disco ball flats lined up. So you guys, both of you guys, have been in the studio together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're in the studio right now. So see, so I've been I've been in the studio with him, right? Okay. And he gives off this business, like he doing right now, but he's smiling right now. He gives off this bit. Let's see where this goes. You know, like one of those. I'm not going to let you know you're doing too good, but when you're doing bad, I'm going to step in and say, oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? But it gives you, he about his business. Mm-hmm. It's peaceful, though. It's quiet, mm-hmm. and it's straight to the point. And mm-hmm. it, the faster you work, the happier he be. <laughs> so you know what? You are you hit it the nail right <laughs> Shorty. But you know the thing I appreciate about appreciate about Shorty is he lets me do my thing. Like he'll leave me alone. Like he'll just be like, okay, that's the room you're in, and then I won't see him again. Like <laughs> <laughs> so the fact that he trusts me like that, I'm like, yes. Yeah, I, I would just say I would I just say the fact that, that he don't the fact that he don't bother you <laughs> say no more. I I really yeah, appreciate it. I was yeah. nervous at first. I was like, oh my god, like is he gonna like what I'm doing? And then you know, I think after that first time we worked together, he saw, you know, I'm I come ready. So he just lets me he lets me be. He trusts me and I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I believe letting the, you know, let the artists spread their wings, you know what I'm saying? And and let them, you know, find that creative, you know, energy to, to bring 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 home the the verse, the chorus, or, or that segment of the song. 
you know, and then if, if I hear some, I can jump in and, and you know, um, add, add, add the flavor to it, then, then all good. But, you know, I want I want the artists to own, you know, own, own their, their part of the record. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then, you know, let them bounce. Hey, what about this? What about that? You know how we go, Bishop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and that's the way everybody's involved. You, you know what I'm saying? And we listen back when we're done and everybody give it now. Nah, we good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. Good money. Both yeah. of these artists right here. Good money. Yeah. Well, we definitely cannot wait to meet you guys, to see you guys tomorrow and party with y'all. Um, I don't know what time y'all are going to be there, but Party Mode <laughs> Live is definitely going to be in the building. And uh, we're going to turn up. So be prepared because I'm pretty sure people are going to want to take pictures now. So sure oh, get, get your shades ready because uh -oh. you know he, he never walks in a building. If y'all never seen it, he never walks in a building without a shade. So <laughs> be prepared because he's always so, prepared because of that flash. <laughs> so so I'm, I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I was never wearing the shades to be cool. I probably was just working all day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I was like, let me fix this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, I'm Jasmine Burke and you are tuned in to Party Mode Live, the party before the party. Yeah. <laughs>